welcome to the fish tank. Hey everybody, Fishman here. Uh, sorry it's been so long since I've uploaded a video, but I've been insanely busy. And uh, the upside of that is I have a great deal of material for uh, future videos, which I will hopefully uh, <laughs> supply to you on a, <laughs> a more regular basis. Uh, this experiment uh, is basically the brother to uh, the coral growth one. So this is a freshwater tank, uh, seven feet long, uh, three feet wide, and a little over a foot deep. And what I'm going to do here is uh, introduce some plants. Uh, this is hornwort. Uh, there's java fern back there. I'm currently planting an Amazon sword. And also there's going to be java moss and a few other things as we go along. And without using any carbon dioxide, any uh, plant fertilizers, I am going to show you that you can rather inexpensively uh, grow plants. All that's filtering this tank is the two AquaClear filters that I did the uh, quick and easy fix for a leaky filter video on. And also the only maintenance I'm doing is uh, weekly water changes, uh, 20 to 25%. Now this uh, tape I'm using is, uh, as you can see in the, the collets that have been coming up, it's CRI graded at 95%, so it's a high quality tape. And it's also a 50-50 tape, which uh, is giving you a bit more light. I have tried doing various things with uh, cheaper LEDs, uh, but I just don't find that there's uh, uh, a good enough result. Whereas these give you a nice clear uh, picture of the water, everything looks uh, healthy with it, and uh, I find it films quite nicely as well on top of that. Now this is week four, as you can see the plants have grown really quite well. Uh, as you notice uh, <laughs> in the future uh, um, tapes that I'm using, the uh, plants seem to grow a little bit more, but part of that I suspect is because, well, this is a brand new tank, I had just set it up, and the fish hadn't pooped enough yet, and the nitrogen cycle was just getting going, so the there was not as much fertilizer as there would be for, uh, like, in the first few, uh, three or four weeks. Well, you can see one of the shrimp is shedded there. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, after this, is going to switch over to... Uh, one fifty fifty uh, CRI graded with ninety five uh, light tape, which is what's on here now, and also I'm going to replace one of them and use uh, a UV uh, strip in that as well, just to show. Uh, it gives a slightly different color to the water, which is kind of cool, and I wanted to see if the, the plants will still grow. So that's the fifty fifty there, and this is the uh, UV, which obviously doesn't seem to give off any light at all, really. Um, but it's uh, obviously outside our visual spectrum. So here's the tank lit just with the UV. You can see the bubbles coming down from the AquaClear kind of have a bit of a color to them. Uh, that's what that is. And you also can tell it's really quite dark. And now this is just with the one strip of 50-50. Uh, Again, the CRI greater than 95. So what I'm going to do now is pr uh, prune back the hornwort so that it is, uh, again, just touching the surface of the water so that we can have a you know a growth uh, comparison as it goes along. I'm not going to bother pruning back uh, the uh, Amazon sword or the java fern. I suppose I could have pruned the java moss, but I wasn't really expecting there to be any kind of, uh, well, <laughs> experimental result. Uh, java moss is going to grow in pretty much anything. If anything grows, it will grow, so there is no real point in uh, pruning it back. Now I know uh, when I started this out, I was going to cover the various aspects of how people want to present how light is in an aquarium, like uh, uh, lux and uh, lumens and uh, par and purr. Uh, I don't know if I really want to bore you with that. Uh, here, I'll, here, I'll do a speed version. Lux is uh, the visual light that uh, humans can see. Uh, lumens is all the light that's present. Uh, PAR is photosynthetically active uh, radiation, which is a, a light that the plants can use for uh, uh, growing and for photosynthesis. And PER is photosynthet photosynthetically usable radiation and is uh, a very minimal difference between the PAR and PER, really. Uh, when it comes right down, it doesn't really matter. Um, none of us, well, I, I mean, I do this for a living, and I don't have uh, the meters necessary to measure all that sort of stuff. And as you can tell, as these plants are growing, it's really not necessary. Also, uh, the, the big caveat there for that is, if you look at a group of plants, 
and you, you there here you go there's a group of plants they're not all the same color the reason why they're not all the same color is every species of plant will absorb different radiation and reflect different radiation so that's why they give a different color if you have a slightly red plant it is uh, reflecting more of the red spectrum and that means the, the what they require is completely different well not completely different obviously but they have different light requirements I mean some plants will grow in the bottom of a pond some will grow at the surface so unless you're growing a uh, monospecific uh, uh, aquarium with one just one type of plant uh, there's no real point in trying to worry about uh, all those sorts of specifics and by this at the end of this experiment you'll see that I've supplied a number of varieties of different uh, oh, that's Rissia there by the way I think I put it on one of the call outs I've supplied a different number of uh, light tapes I've supplied a different number of light intensities and definitely different uh, spectrums and I find as we go along here that everything's growing quite well so most of that for the average individual is really uh, unimportant so here we are week three um, this is still uh, CRI uh, 5050 and uh, UV and as you can tell the plants are growing quite nicely uh, I find that uh, now that we're past the uh, nitrogen cycle like once we're after, past about six weeks the tank really settles down I find and everything is uh, doing what it's supposed to be doing and then you'll find the color of the plants is actually uh, changing a little bit they're a little happier now I find a, like I've set up a large number of tanks over the years and I find that plants are actually a little bit more sensitive in some ways than fish are when you uh, set up tanks I actually prefer to add uh, like living plants and such uh, after the tank is cycled and that way uh, they seem to actually perk up a lot better whereas some fish uh, especially like guppies here uh, can uh, go through a cycle no problem at all and then uh, what we're going to do now is switch over to 10k. And I noticed there was actually a nice color difference between 10k and uh, the other two uh, tapes beforehand. But uh, again, this is uh, when I started, when I did the uh, other, well, pretty much everything I'm going to do is I'm going to try and leave it for you to judge whether or not uh, things look better or don't look better. And then actually one of the uh, videos I have coming up all I'm going to do is uh, take one of my client's tanks and I'm going to put as many different varieties of light tapes that I have over the tank so that you can make your own judgment calls on what looks good and what doesn't look good. So here we go, we're doing a reset for, uh, for the 10k strips and then we're going to go through another four weeks of uh, plant growth. Uh, the rest of you there you see is growing quite nicely. The Java Fern actually now is finally getting some really good color, uh, but again, like I said, there's a bit of a um, hiccup there with the uh, cycling of the tank. Uh, but all of them are doing really quite well. And actually, after this experiment was done, I switched back to just using uh, CRI greater than 95 50 50 tapes and just to double check. And I found that. Um, the light uh, was not actually the limiting factor in growth. It actually very rarely is. And what we'll do here is, uh, I think I'll have a video coming up uh, again, like I said, all, and all that material I'm talking about. There's going to be uh, a, a point about a month after this experiment ends where I will um, prune back <laughs> the stuff I took out of, the, out of this tank. And you'll be quite surprised how much actual material was in here by the time this is done. You see Amazon Sword here now is sending out another runner. It's obviously doing quite well, and I, I think another future video I have in mind is what I'm going to do is take this Amazon sword instead of just planting it in uh, like these little pots with uh, gravel. I am going to show you how you can plant uh, with soil and gravel, and well, not make a messy aquarium, and we'll see if uh, it grows any better. So another week has gone by. Uh, everything looks is looking quite healthy still. Uh, I. Uh, haven't really seen any any change in their uh, general appearances uh, growth rate is uh, always uh, quite good and uh, I judge growth rate differently I suppose than uh, some of the videos you can see online uh, I'm not trying for 
the optimal growth. I don't want the plants growing as fast as they can. Uh, there's two reasons for this. One is if you uh, push a system such that they're growing as quickly as possible, uh, there's no real uh, room for error. If you uh, miss up on your uh, uh, maintenance or whatever, uh, you can end up with uh, difficulties. Not so much with the uh, fresh water, but definitely with salt water. And the other thing is, is um, these, I'm doing this for, uh, um, for clients from a maintenance business. And if I uh, see a client uh, every two, three weeks or four weeks and things are growing crazy in that time, uh, it, it could be a real jungle by the time I get back. And a lot of people don't really care for that. Uh, this is Crypto Green. Uh, I pulled it out of uh, a tank where I had an old LED system. And I was finding they're getting kind of chlorotic, and I was kind of hoping to see if they would come back with uh, this light style. This is just an overview of the whole tank. It's, uh, like I said, 7 by 3 and you can see it's really getting full of plants, and this is uh, not near the end of the experiment yet. Another thing of note, and something actually I kind of like about uh, using live plants for uh, aquariums, is this is now, we've done... Uh, two full four weeks plus uh, another uh, two three weeks and I have not cleaned the glass in that entire time uh, the plants uh, as you can <laughs> tell by their growth uh, compete quite well with the uh, algae and uh, they uh, end up uh, starving it out quite nicely and you don't really get that much in the way of uh, algal growth now obviously I have <laughs> a very large number of plecos in here as well and that has something to do with it too uh, but I, I just find the, the, lo the look of a uh, healthy living system like this is much better than with you know, plastic plants and ornaments and that sort of stuff. But uh, that's just me. So we're getting near the end of the video now. And like I said, I just uh, hopefully you enjoyed this. Uh, the, definitely the style as far as just letting you guys figure out what you think uh, for what grows best with what. I think I'm starting to get a bit of a preference myself uh, but i'm going to leave that out uh, maybe put it in later on in another video if there's any questions you have uh, stuff i might have left out because obviously there's an awful lot of details that uh, can be uh, mentioned and stuff like this uh, just leave it in the comments below and like i said if you like this style of video just uh, like and subscribe and uh and then if you hold on a second we're gonna do a pan out here for a second there you go. This is uh, still a week away from the end of the, the experiment, so we're at seven weeks. And if you remember from the very beginning, you might have to click back to the beginning. Those three little sprigs of hornwort are now <laughs> taking over this entire tank. And also, as you can tell, uh, the other slower growing plants are actually still doing quite well as well. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. Uh, this is week four now, uh, double 10k. And like I said, uh, I think probably in a I'm going to try and get more videos out when I have uh, this all being pruned uh, a month and I think about uh, maybe six weeks after the end of this and I want to show you exactly how much plant material is in here. So anyway, I'll just leave you with uh, watching my guppies and uh, the plants and I will talk to you later. Thanks.